Hello everyone, a uh, very good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of you. This is your host Vaibha. In our today's session of correlation and regression, we will be considering the price development so far, which have been one-sided. We have seen the dollar gaining substantially during the today's trading session, particularly in the European trading hours. The dollar went on to appreciate against uh, most of the major currencies and uh, if it uh, hadn't really appreciated uh, against some of the currencies, then it uh, filled that gap in the US trading session where we saw it uh, again appreciating further with uh, fresh gains happening for the US dollar after the US economic release and uh, also the start of the North American trading session. So let us now head to the G4 export, the newly released trading platform from the Decoscopy Bank asset to see how things are shaping up and what we can expect in a today's trading session, which is uh, quite happening. We have seen these uh, broad moves in today's trading session. And if we consider the price volatility, it has been one-sided. The dollar has continued to gain ground. And even now, the things are pretty much in favor of the US dollar. So I would uh, say that uh, even now, the trade to which uh, we can reliable, reliably trade which we can reliably take is to buy the US dollar. And if we have to consider the uh, Euro USD chart, it started the day closer to 1.075, and right now it is almost uh, 200 pips, more than 200 pips uh, below the day's. Uh, highs and surprisingly enough we had this uh, sharp spike in the uh, Asian, Asian trading session which tends to be quite silent for the euro there is no active market for the euro usd the us markets and the european markets are closed at that point in time but still there was this uh, sharp move which resulted in the gains of around uh, more than 25 pips but it wasn't really sustained and uh, it uh, started to give up all those gains particularly particularly after the start of the european trading session where this uh, decline of the euro accelerated we saw the euro usd holding around 1.073 but once it uh, gave way to that levels it uh, went on to decline these uh, 200 pips making these a uh, fresh swing low of 1.0518 and as i said even now the momentum is in the favor of the us dollar so the better trade to look for is to buy the us dollar then the question is whether we should still be shorting the euro usd or if we have better opportunities emerging emerging somewhere else so for that we will have to consider the charting momentum in a given direction so let's first compare the EURUSD to the GBPUSD. For GBPUSD, the developments have not been much different, though the decline for the GBPUSD has been slightly less in comparison to the decline which we have observed for the Euro. The decline for the GBP has been around one percentage point, whereas for the Euro, it is uh, more than one and a half percentage points. So in today's trading session, the Euro has been more or less the most bearish currency trading against the US dollar. Other currencies, other major currencies like GBP, AUD, NZD, CHF have also depreciated. The exception has been of JPY. JPY has actually gone on to appreciate against the US dollar as well. And uh, of course, uh, <coughs> Naturally, you can make a conclusion that it also has gone on to appreciate against other bearish currencies. So the JPY has been the clear winner in today's trading session where it has gained substantial ground against most of the other major currencies. If we consider the charting for the USD JPY, earlier in the day it was rising, it was showing bullish momentum and uh, it even made this high above 135 but uh, from there on it has declined more than two percentage point with this low being made at 132.21 
So that's a quite a turnaround for the USD JPY, which was looking quite solid earlier in the day. But I think after last uh, couple of days of consolidation, after making low closer to 132, couple of days back, it uh, again has started. It has resumed its downward spiral. And this time around, I am expecting the USD JPY to want to decline towards the levels of 130. So that possibility is quite strong. Let us look at its uh, medium term charting. And here you will notice that after the substantial decline, starting from 137 all the way to 132, we had this consolidation phase for last uh, two to three trading session. And now again, this is the resumption of the downward trend. So in this case, I think the JPY is going to be the most bullish currency to play with for next couple of uh, sessions. The dollar is gaining against other major currencies and the JPY is gaining against the dollar. So the best combination is going to be look for the most bearish currency, maybe Euro, you can say and uh, Pair it with the most bullish one that is JPY and you will have a decline of uh, substantial uh, points. Let's consider the Euro JPY chart. Usually I only cover USD majors but just to give you an example we will see we will not go into the detail but we will just consider the developments of the Euro JPY in today's trading session. So here you can see that after uh, starting and uh, making this high at around 145, the Euro JPY has lost more than 500 pips in today's trading session itself. So that's a substantial move because the Euro has depreciated and JPY has uh, run on to appreciate at the same time, around the same time. So this is uh, the result of uh, this two-way ride for the Euro JPY. Now let us revert back to the USD majors and uh, we will consider the AUD USD and NZD USD also. These two are also in declining phase. Now the only question to be asked is whether the AUD is more bearish or the Euro or GBP is and uh, as i said earlier the euro is uh, of course a lot more bearish than the gbp now let us look at the price moves of the aud and using that we can draw a conclusion so from high to the low the decline for the aud has been closer to two percent per percentage point slightly less than two percentage point so the aud's decline is also substantial we have seen similar kind of decline for the euro so there is not much of a difference in terms of the magnitude for the decline of the aud and the euro even in terms of the timeline i am not really seeing much of a difference so it is uh, up to you uh, which particular currency to trade with there is not much of a difference between these two on account of this uh, decline the 4 hourly low earlier in the day was made at 810 GMT for AUD. It came in at around same time slightly earlier, 10-20 minutes. And even now it is in a bearish phase. Whereas Euro is finding some support on the lower level. But still, as I said, the natural trade to take is to short the Euro USD. So slightly the AUD is looking more bearish in comparison to the Euro, but I would say that is the personal preference. Euro tends to be more volatile and also less spread. So on that count, I would still prefer to trade the Euro. Let's consider the developments for the NZD. NZD has looked slightly less bearish throughout the today's trading session. Now I am not really expecting the picture to change much. Even now, it is uh, going sideways with its decline being not substantial in percentage terms as well as in the timeline. Its uh, decline is more than one percentage point, so you can put it ahead of the GBP. Be it, uh, of course, it is a lot less bearish in comparison to the Euro and the AUD. JPY, we have already seen, is uh, 
inclined on the bullish side. Now we will have to consider the USD CAD and USD CHF. For the USD CHF, the gains have been substantial. It has also gone on to appreciate closer to one percentage point in today's trading session and uh, right now it is again going on to make a fresh swing high so here also the momentum is in the favor of the us dollar and you have to stick with the flow and keep looking for the opportunities to buy the usb chf but uh, of course uh, if we look at these uh, rather flat lining of the usb chf on these higher levels of around 0 0.92 Five six. I would uh, not really prefer to trade with the USD CHF. We have better momentum in currencies like AUD, USD, and also Euro is uh, showing much more bearishness against the US dollar. So the CHF can be kept in the watch list. But uh, if you want to trade, it is better to go with the most bearish currency, which is uh, at the moment looking uh, Euro and also AUD is not really far behind even on some measures it is looking even more bearish slightly there is not much of a difference between these two currencies momentum let's see what's the story for USD CAD I'm not uh, expecting anything to be different for the USD CAD CAD also made these uh, days low and then it turned the corner going on to make this uh, Four hourly high had at 7:30 GMT. From there on, it has uh, rallied substantially with gains so of around one percentage point. So, in terms of these uh, gains, the magnitude is not that high for the USD CAD as is the case for Euro and uh, AUD. So, it is more in line with the price formation of the GBP. And since it is falling in between the spectrum, I would still overlook it and continue to prefer the more bearish currencies like euro and AUD and we have already seen the price formation for the USD JPY, JPY being the most bullish currency against all the other major currencies USD included. USD has gained against almost every other currency but JPY is the exception for the day with its uh, substantial appreciation against the US dollar with uh, gains of around 2 percentage point and uh, it has uh, of course gained a lot more against other major currencies like Euro, AUD and all other currencies. So JPY is the king for the day and we have the Euro and AUD on the back foot and I am not really interested in going for any contra trend trade until we see substantial consolidation. So we have to go with the flow and keep looking for opportunities to buy the US dollar. Maybe JPY is not really the currency against which to buy the USD, but other currencies are more favorable. And if you want to buy, maybe JPY is the best choice. You can pair it with the most bearish currency and keep looking for opportunities therein. So that kind of possibility is also open for you to exploit in today's uh, market let's take a cursory glance on the equity indices we will not really be going into the details for the dow jones industrial average there has been decline in today's trading session after starting the day on the higher ground about 32,000 it has gone on to decline two percentage point even after the start of the US trading session the North American trading session it has continued its downward journey so in today's trading session the market is going downhill for most major currencies equities included and JPY is the one which is having the best best bullish momentum so today we are seeing flight towards safety, the risk averseness in the market so in line with these uh, price formation, you will have to keep looking for opportunities to short 
the equities and also the major currencies against the dollar with the exception of uh, JPY. So that's uh, my outlook looking at the current price formation. If any of you have any query or any idea to share, do write to me in the feedback and I will be more than happy. Discussion forward. Thank you all for joining in. Have a fabulous day ahead, a profitable day ahead. See you next time around. Till then, goodbye.